Hello everybody, I'm back with another Space Flight Simulator video. Today, you might notice that I'm talking a little quieter than usual. That's because I'm launching the allegedly canceled Apollo 18 mission. Yes, this mission actually happened. It's just the government has kept it secret for more than, for 49 years. This mission launched in 1973. It launched three astronauts to the south pole of the moon to scout for a lunar military base site. They want to they, they wanna install a lunar military base by 1976. That's the goal of the government here. So right now, we're performing state separation, and then we're about to jettison the skirt. There it goes. And then ignite the three uh, J2 engines, jettison the escape tower, and then I noticed that my trajectory was a little low, so I began to point radial out a little bit. And there we go, I fixed it. And yeah, uh, the government cannot, um, no, <laughs> The public cannot know about this mission, even though I'm covering it right now. Uh, guys, help me. I think there's somebody outside my house. Okay, no, just kidding. Uh, okay, back to talking regularly now. Uh, yeah, um, I, I wanted to show off my Saturn V. That's the reason I made this mission. I was like, I just don't want, I don't want to do another Apollo, like another normal Apollo 11 mission with like the gold foil. So I was like, hey, how about a twist? on the old Apollo formula like I don't know there's like um the government uh scheduled this mission to launch uh somewhere in 1973 so yeah that's cool I just wanted to put an old twist on the um on the Apollo missions so it won't be oh there you go it the earth it looked beautiful right there you might have noticed we launched at night I just did that so you know it's a little more secretive because during the day there's a bunch of people at Kennedy Space Center and the visitor complex and stuff like that so yeah I didn't want to you know um, attract attention from the giant Saturn V launching uh, yeah hopefully nobody heard that yeah the launch pad was covered with like sound pads the sound suppression system had way more water than usual to try to cover up the sound but it was still very noisy you might notice that the lem uh does not have its gold foil as usual it has this uh dark batman color <laughs> no sorry about that uh yeah I, I just wanted to make it look different and the service module, um, yeah, it's also the same color as the LEM descent stage, so that's cool. Uh, we're approaching the moon. Uh, again, we're aiming for the south pole because that's where these scary moon spiders live. Okay, no, just kidding. There's no scary moon spiders in this video. Or at least I don't think so. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, we're circularizing at the moon. Uh, if uh, you want this uh, Saturn V, I'll put it down in the description. Uh, the link to the um, to the uh, sharing blueprint thing, you know the uh, you know what I mean. You'll see it in the description. So if you want the Saturn V, I I won't be you know um, a jerk as usual. I'll actually post the blueprint uh, underneath because I I get a lot of comments saying, can you please post the blueprint uh, every time you make a video? Cause like I want the blueprint or something uh but yeah uh the blueprint is down in the description if you're wondering what i'm doing there i just <laughs> took a screenshot for the thumbnail because i want the thumbnail to look good i i want views okay <laughs> uh we have separated the lem uh from the uh command and service module or the csm and we are beginning our deorbit burn uh, the Saturn V that's going to be in the description, it's not going to be this one. Well, it is going to be this one, but it's just going to look like a normal Apollo-style Saturn V mission. Uh, I don't know if that made sense. It's just going to look like the normal uh, configuration of the Saturn V. Like, it won't have, like, the dark gray color. That's for you to change, because I'm just leaving the Saturn V normally, because if you don't want this coloring to the Saturn V... You're going to have to go to the blueprints and change to gold foil texture and stuff like that. And I don't want you to do that. I'm just, I just want you to um, enjoy the rocket, I guess. And if you do want this uh, Saturn V, uh, do it yourself. <laughs> no, that sounded mean. Okay, we're now descending down to the lunar surface. And we're now descending. Uh, <laughs> I just said it again. 
We're going to land inside a crater because I feel like inside a crater is a lot like safer. Well, we didn't land dead center inside a crater. We kind of landed uh, at a slope, which I was kind of scared that we were going to start sliding, but no, we, we didn't. And we have touched down. Oh, yep, right there. <laughs> there we go. And oh, wait, hold on. I, I just uh, performed a little uh, hop because, uh, you know, the landing legs weren't level. And fade to black, and we have now planted a flag and a small little sensor. I'm not going to uh, say what that sensor does, because I don't want the government after me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's just say that's a... Uh, to, to see weather on the moon. Yeah, that, that's the reason... The sensor is there because it's trying to detect lunar um, lunar rain. <laughs> That's what it's trying to do. It's trying to see if it actually rains on the moon because NASA is still trying to figure that out. Even though there's no clouds, no atmosphere, they still think, hey, since the alien, I'm not the alien, <laughs> since the moon is an alien environment, it might rain on the moon. You never know. They might be, you know, their uh, hypothesis might be proven true with that sensor. But yeah, that's that's what that sensor does. It totally does not detect uh, missiles or anything like that, or jam signals or whatever. No, no, it, it, it's uh, it's um, it's family friendly. It's nothing um, military related. And if you're wondering about the color scheme, no, I I just decided to uh, you know, paint it a different color. It's not like this is a military uh, mission only. So yeah, don't worry about that. And we're now docking with the uh, CSM. It's not on screen right now, but it's there it is. You kind of saw it right there. I kind of zoomed in. So, yeah, um, I don't really know what to talk about anymore. Uh, oh, yeah, now that we're coming home, I better talk about the, uh, the trajectory I took to return to Earth. I did not um, expect my trajectory to... Uh, I don't know, be that way. Oh, there we go. The uh, the LEM ascent stage was jettisoned and fired the engine to, you know, break out of moon orbit, deorbiting the uh, ascent stage real quick because we don't want any space junk. We don't want any evidence. Although if I didn't want any evidence, I would have made a reusable lander. I don't know. You can see the, uh, the, the uh, return trajectory there. It kind of messed up, but hey, um... After this, I recovered the vessel, so there was no way I could do it again. And I don't want to, you know, do quick saves. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's just say they went out deeper into space than any of the other Apollo missions to, you know, uh, to not get detected by anybody. And, yep, there it goes. We have jettisoned the rest of the module. Um, the service module that is you might have noticed <laughs> i don't know if you might have noticed or not uh there was no sound throughout most of the video that was not an accident i did that on purpose because there's no sound in space so yeah if um if you didn't hear any sound it wasn't due to like uh i don't know a, an error during editing or whatever like just just listen closely there's sound during re-entry and launch but not throughout the rest of the video because there's no sound in space that's just a small little detail i want to start doing in these commentary videos because i don't know i just feel like it makes it a little more realistic so yeah that, that's the um reason why i did that and i was like this re-entry is taking a long time and then i realized oh wait i just had it in uh one physics time warp so it, usually I put it at three. So the re-entry part goes really, really fast, but I forgot. So, you know, that's cool, I guess, but it doesn't matter because we're now landing. We have deployed the three parachutes and we are landing near Antarctica because, you know, that's probably the most isolated place on earth. Uh, nobody will know this mission ever took place. So there we go. We have landed and that's the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, all my socials are in the description, blah, blah, blah. The usual end screen stuff. Uh, my 